What's going on? What's going on? We back. We back. It's your boy Tunnel Vision back for another one. Just came out the gym. I'm headed home. Just got myself a nice little vanilla bean crunch frappuccino. Where is it at? Where is it at? Look, look how beautiful that thing is. Oh my gosh. Woo! My goodness. It's beautiful, man. I'm about to start my six month cut real soon. So the next couple of weeks, I'm enjoying all the things that I can enjoy in life that is gonna go away, except for refeed days and cheat days. Uh, but I'm enjoying my efforts right now, though. But yes, two weeks away, man. Uh, the big fight is two weeks away between Sean Porter and Earl Spence. I can't wait. I haven't wanted, you know, I don't know, man. This fight got me hyped up. I can't wait for this fight. You know, I haven't felt about a fight like this, I think, since uh, Sean Porter versus Keith Thurman, I would say, and Wilder versus um, Wilder versus Ortiz. You know, KO reaction down over there in the videos. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I was hyped, hyped. But yeah, they're fighting, man. And believe it or not, the reason this fight's probably happening is actually probably because of Sean Porter. Um, I know Sean Porter has some kind of crazy deal with his father, where his father literally decides everything that goes on with his career contractually, you know, and um, he could stop him from fighting whoever the hell he wants him to fight. And I know that this is a fight that he didn't want to happen. He didn't want him fighting Earl Spence. And um, I think at first... I think it was a situation where Sean was also just going to listen to his father. But shout out to everybody that's been pissing on Sean Porter this whole time and pissing on his father in the last couple of months. Because I think it got to the point where Sean Porter was like, you know what? It's time for him to step up as a man and make his own decisions, regardless of what his father thought. Um, he understood what was being said in these streets. You know, he understood it wasn't something that he was comfortable with. And he wanted that fight. He wanted to push that issue. And um, as we saw, there was a couple of months there where we didn't see Sean Porter with his father. We didn't see them together at, you know, events. We didn't see them together at interviews. You know, we didn't see them together when it came to training. And um, there was something that was, you know, in the court, in, you know, in that, that was filed against Sean Porter, against, I don't know if it's his father or whatever it is. And um, I think it was him trying to break that contract that was set up. And um, his father, I don't believe, thinks that Sean Porter can win this fight. And knowing Earl Spence, I think he might believe that this is a fight where something drastically could happen to Sean Porter. Um, just due to the styles. This just might be one of those situations where the styles just wrong. Kind of like Ruiz and um, versus Anthony Joshua. Ruiz faces Wilder. I think Ruiz is out of there in two, three rounds. He's gone. But against Anthony Joshua, it's just a bad style for Anthony Joshua. And I think his father might think this when it comes to this this fight. But I guess eventually his father did come around, you know, just due to the fact that, you know, his, you know, they started being together again. You did see him in the corner, you know, and um, we might, you know, this fight actually might just be happening because of Sean Porter, because Sean Porter, you know, pushed the issue, you know, and, but, regardless of all that, you know what I'm saying, if that's the case, I would say definitely gotta say shout out to him and thank him for pushing the issue, you know, being a man and deciding that, you know what, even though this is my father, even though I love him, even though he's guided me this far, at this point in my life, I gotta start making my own decisions as a man, whether it works out for me or not, and, um, but still got a root for him to lose, man. Usually in these situations with these certain type of fights, I don't care who wins. When he, when Keith Thurman fought against Sean Porter, that was a fight that I just kind of sat there, you, you know what I'm saying, enjoyed it, and I didn't care who won that fight before we knew about Keith Thurman's all efforties and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? When we thought he was still about that life, I didn't care who won that fight. It was just an awesome fight that I was looking forward to and I absolutely enjoyed. Um, when it comes to this fight, that also would be the case. Except for the fact that Sean Porter has made it very clear he's not fighting Terrence Crawford. 
you know, I personally believe there's a very small chance of a unification fight between Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford happening, but it's still there. You know, the things fall into line. Certain people do what they need to do, what's necessary. I still think it could happen, not only as far as Terrence Crawford pushing the issue, but I also believe even with ESPN themselves pushing the issue due to the fact they're the ones putting out the money when it comes to, you know, top rank. You know, and right now those viewerships are not good with top rank when it comes to ESPN Plus and when it comes to ESPN. You know what I'm saying? The only people that are really doing any kind of numbers, even ESPN, are Earl Spence and I guess you could say Lomachenko. Everybody else is doing trash numbers. These guys are bringing in 400,000 views, 450, 600,000 views on regular ESPN. You know, regular ESPN, that's, that's what they're bringing in. You know what I'm saying? Very low numbers. Uh, Tyson Fury is bringing in basura. Nothing. Shh. People in the United States don't give two flying Fs about that dude. It's very clear at his gates, and it's very clear with his viewerships. For anybody who thought that he was the reason why that Wild of Fury pay-per-view did what it did. You know? It's very clear now that that's not the case. Dude has a fight, you know, happening tomorrow. No one gives a flying F about it. No one's even talking about it. Nobody. That dude's own family might not be at that damn fight. You know what I mean? So, that's just what it is with that. So, I think there's still a possibility this whole early 2020 thing. Nah, I don't believe that. You know, but the end of 2020, 2020, I still believe there's a possibility of that fight happening. And if, Keith, if, if Sean Porter has those belts, he's not going to fight him. He made it clear, oh, we're friends and all this other BS. So, I'm not going to fight him. You know, I'm not going to fight him. We're never going to fight. So I don't even want to have that barrier there. You know, I don't want to have that barrier over there. So unfortunately, due to that, got to root for Earl Spence, man, to mow this boy down, flatline his ass. You know, I'm hoping he wins. I still I still think it's going to be a tough fight. I think it's going to be a rough fight. I think it's going to be kind of like Kell Brooks versus um, Earl Spence. Maybe. But due to the styles, damn, this dude's an idiot. What the fuck? Playing with his kid like right next to the damn road. Jesus Christ. Messing my whole train of thought. Fucking idiots, man. You got kids, be smart, man. I'm saying what the F you doing, man. Don't have your kids dying because of your asinine switch because you're dumbass. Playing with a kid next to the freaking goddamn road. Not even looking at the damn road. Looking on Wow, man. But anyways, yeah, man. Just due to his philosophy and how he thinks, he got to lose this fight, man. We need him to lose this fight. I need him to lose this fight. I don't want to worry about those issues. Just like with the uh, Andy Ruiz versus um, Anthony Joshua, I need Andy Ruiz to win that fight so we can have a, a chance of possibly of seeing Undisputed. Even though they're probably going to make him fight a mandatory, he might even have to fight two of those or lose the belts. I want just to have make, just for the fact that there's that possibility, and we don't know if you know, Dante Wilder might be able to get out of that Tyson Fury fight. Just because there's that type, that possibility is there, I need Wilder to win, and then need Tyson, then need uh, then need uh, Andrew Ruiz to win that fight to see if we can get that unification. You know, need that to see if we can get that unification, that undisputed. And even though it's a small chance, even since we have that chance of getting that undisputed, when it comes to uh, when it comes to 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 Earl Spence, you know, and Terrence Crawford. We need that to happen. You know, the only other issue is going to be Manny Pacquiao. I believe Manny Pacquiao will end up fighting Earl Spence. If not the next fight, it might be the fight after that. You know, just due to how much money will be, just how much money will be in that pot. You're talking about he's going to be guaranteed 30 plus million. And he's not stupid. He understands that the end is near. You know, so why lose to somebody else for making less money and miss out on this big paycheck that could be 30 to 50 million dollars? Because I truly believe you're looking at a million plus pay-per-view. You're looking at 500,000 plus in the UK, not to mention everybody else that's going to be putting up that bread. Not to mention close, uh, the closed caption, whatever they call it, seats when you watch it in the movies and stuff like that. That that fight's a big money fight, that 20 plus million dollar gate. You know what I mean? So I just due to the amount of money that'll be in that fight, I think you'll eventually end up doing it. Whether, if not the next fight, definitely the one after that. 
you know so undisputed that's what we want to see and Sean Porter's made it very clear he's the one that could stand in the, in, in the middle of that. And if Manny Pacquiao, if Sean Porter was to win and, and Manny Pacquiao fought Sean Porter, he ain't fighting Terrence Crawford. He's going to say F that stuff. He could care less about all that. He ain't dealing with Bob Arum. I don't think he's dealing with Bob Arum whatsoever. He isn't dealing with top rank. He's not even going to try to mess with that. He's just going to do his own thing. That's what I believe when it comes to that. So when it comes to this fight, man, it's two weeks away. I'm hyped up. I can't wait for it. You know, got nothing but love for both guys. Hope they both come out healthy. You know what I'm saying? But, rooting for Earl Spence to bust this one up. Looking for Earl Spence to win this one. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're looking for. My prediction of it, I think it's going to be a tough fight. But due to the different styles, I think Sean is just kind of looking at that Ugas fight. And the, kind of the, the, the shots that, you know, Sean Porter's getting caught up in the body. And some of the clean, let's go straight uh, shots he was getting caught with. Um, man, I was saying 12 full rounds, man. But after looking at that Ugas fight, man, I think I'm leaning towards Earl Spence late stoppage. Whether he boxes or if he brings the pain. But we'll see. Like, subscribe, share. See you on the next one.